Hey everyone, Shane here with eTrower.com. Today I have a 2015 Dynamax Force RV, and I want to walk through how to install the Tire Minder TPMS monitoring system. This system is going to be designed to allow you to monitor the tire pressure in your tires much easier. You can do it while you're traveling. It's going to make it much easier because we're not going to stop every couple hundred miles to check the tire pressure and add air or, or release air, take pressure out of it. All of it is going to be seen right here on this LCD monitor. This screen is not only going to allow you to see the tire pressure of each tire, but it's also going to alert you if there's a major change. That's whether tire pressure, temperature, uh, maybe one of the batteries is going low in one of the sensors, or you have a signal loss. This kit's going to allow you to monitor up to 10 tires at once. However, It'll store up to four vehicles or 40 tires. You can find additional sensors here at eTrailer. This is what our sensors are gonna look like. This particular kit is gonna work with any type of valve stem except aluminum. The aluminum valve stems are typically found on your cars, trucks, and SUVs. There are aluminum uh, sensors available. You can also find those here at eTrailer. With our pressure setting, we're able to set a high or low pressure to give us that alert from zero up to 199 PSI. With our temperature set, or set up, in Fahrenheit, we can go from negative four degrees to 185 degrees. In Celsius, we can go from negative 20 degrees to 85 degrees. Our screen is gonna come with a window mount and a charger and is compatible with 12 and 24 volt systems. These kits are available in two, four, six or 10 tire kits. This is gonna be our 10 tire kit. You can also find flow through sensors and what those are, it's a sensor that has a valve stem on it. And once you put the sensor on, you can actually air up your tire or decrease the pressure leaving the sensor on. With this kit, you actually have to remove the sensor. You can also find replacement batteries for your sensors. All those can be found here at eTrailer. Another nice feature with this screen, not only being LCD, but uh, we actually have a vehicle that's being flat towed behind the motorhome. And if you notice, this is the front vehicle, this is the motorhome. The screen's going to flip and go to the vehicle that we're towing. So really, you can set it up however you want. Uh, this is just how I set it up for our customer. And what it's going to do is you can see it's going to toggle between the two screens so we don't have to push any buttons to monitor the back vehicle that we're towing. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's walk you through how to get it installed. To start our installation, you need to plug in your monitor and charge it. While that's charging, you're going to take your sensors, you're going to unscrew the lid. The kit's going to come with batteries. You need to install a battery into each one. Next, we need to install the Sugna booster. This works with 12 and 24 volt systems. You look on the top of your battery, it'll say 12 volts. I'm gonna make sure you're using it on 12 or 24 volts, not six volts. Next, we have to mount this where we can connect it to the battery, but because it's a diesel engine, it needs to be mounted on the undercarriage and as far back as we can get it. So, I've got my alligator clips right here where they can reach the battery and I'm able to get down through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and underneath each one of these little cabinets, on the bottom edge, there's a, a framing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually run the wire and attach it right back in here on the metal frame. I'm going to use some self-tapping screws. They do not come in your kit. You can find them pretty much anywhere. Just little short ones. And that's going to hold our signal booster up. And then for my wire, I just have some small loom clamps or wire clamps. I'm going to take a couple, of, a couple other self-tapping screws and we're going to make sure that the wire stays up and it's not hanging down or drooping.
Let me take our clamps. We'll just run this wire right along the frame rail. And we'll get that held up in place so it doesn't hang down. Uh, we're going to hook up to our battery, red positive, black negative. If you don't want to use these, you can always cut these off and put ring terminals on and hardwire it. Um, I like to use these because in the winter time, if you don't use your RV, you can easily just pop these off and you don't have this um, affecting your battery at all. right on like that what we want to make sure once we make the connection is that our signal booster is on you can see right here we have a green light so we're good to go now that we can start adding our sensors to each wheel and getting them set up on our main screen with your screen you're going to push the center button it's going to turn it on you want to make sure you see monitoring once you get that you're gonna push the right and left arrow and you're gonna hold it down. Actually, the L is right there in the center, which is good. You can see the front left two dots are flashing. That's gonna be our first tire. Now we're gonna take our sensor and we're gonna add it to the wheel. Next, you're gonna need this little wrench, one of your sensors, and a nut. We're gonna screw the nut on first. You're gonna be at least a quarter inch from the top. We're gonna to screw on our sensor. Just a little bit more. And we're gonna take this wrench and we're gonna tighten it up against the sensor. That. and we'll check our monitor you can see PSI is flashing now we're gonna to move to the next wheel we'll use the arrows on the top to do that we went to the top right which is the passenger side front wheel so we'll do the same process install our sensor and make sure that the PSI shows up on the screen and you can see our front passenger side Showing PSI, we're gonna repeat that process for the remaining wheels. So this is how I have it set up. This is the RV, front wheel, driver's side, passenger side, outside driver's side wheel, in the back, inside, inside passenger, outside in the back. We scroll through. This motorhome is actually towing a uh, second a vehicle so what I did is I set it up like this this is the rear it's gonna be the rear vehicle and uh, you can really set it up however you want if you want to put your uh, driver and passenger tires up in the front and or up in the top corners and bottom corners you can do it that way the way I did is set it up like this driver passenger front driver passenger rear once you get everything set up You press and hold the left and right arrow. It's gonna to go to monitoring. Once you have it set up the way you want, you'll notice that the screen's gonna to toggle between front and rear. So it shows the front vehicle and the rear vehicle. Once you have your, your everything set up the way you want, you're really ready to go. That's gonna do it for look at and installation on Tire Minders TPMS system on a 2015 Dynamax Force RV.